Hey guys, so today I want to compare iOS 6 on my iPad Touch 5th generation uh, compared to the iOS or yeah, iOS 7 beta 2 on my iPhone 5 here. And I did a similar video where I was going over the browser and of course all of the apps in iOS 7 has been updated. And uh, in this video I just want to go uh, quickly over uh, some of the changes from uh, the first beta on the iPhone 5 uh, versus the new beta. So if you're new to, if you haven't seen iOS 7 before, uh, you can see that the first thing you can see here between these two, I'm not sure if they would change back the icons in future updates, but uh, on the right side here, of course you do have iOS 6, the latest, I think it's like 6.1.3 or something. Uh, versus the new iOS 7 look here, uh, which more has of a dark theme to it. I also do believe that they're going to change that background to transparent in a future update. But you can see that all the icons and everything is more of a cartoon feeling, I think, uh, in, in terms of its UI. It's a little bit more cool in some ways, though, that uh, you can see now when we scroll down like this, uh, you can see through here on the background, and you also do have this control center when you swipe up like that. It also works on the lock screen uh, where you do gain some, finally some toggles, uh, some things that you have been uh, able to have in Android now for a long time, but some nice things here that uh, you can swipe here uh, up and down, which is extremely cool. Uh, also, we can check out the lock screen uh, has been getting some new updates as well. So. Uh, if I would play some music here in iOS 7, or iOS 6, I mean, uh, if I just play it and I don't want to get any copyright problems, so I'll play it here in Spotify. You can see that now when we put on the lock screen, you can see this is how it did look like before. You have that unlock feature, I quickly launch the camera, uh, and then also you can see the song, you can see the time. Uh, how does it look now in, in the new iOS 7? Uh, well, if we fire up Spotify here, and if I just play some music over here, and we go out, you can see that that is the new interface. Uh, a little bit different, slide to unlock still. You can quit, still launch the camera, but up here it's a little bit different uh, in terms of its UI, probably a little bit more optimized here with the controls and all. Uh, so you probably do get some extra additions over there. And of course we do have features like, uh, let's see here, when we unlock the phone, they did see that pop up here. It's a little bit, um, you get a, like a different effect here where they also, of course, pop up like that in one way. Uh, and uh, if we're gonna go over specifically the beta 2 updates, uh, we can quickly go over them here. First, you do have now, in the first beta of iOS 7, you didn't have this voice memo app, uh, but now you do get it, so you can record your own voice and do your own kinds of uh, recording. Uh, I'm not sure if that's available on the iPod Touch, but I'm pretty sure it's available uh, on the normal, yeah, there we go, voice memo. So you can see here a little bit different in, in terms of its UI over there, but not, not a super big deal, but you now finally have voice memo back again in, in beta too. Uh, also Siri has been getting some new voices. See if I can launch it. What is two plus two? And you can see here the cool integration here with Wolfram Alpha. Uh, you did see that that was the male voice, but also of course can go into settings and do a female voice. I'm not quite sure if I have Siri though on the iPod Touch. Let's try it out. What's up? Hey there. So you can see I have Siri now, or I do have it on my iPod Touch. Uh, that is a little bit different in UI. I think it's a little bit more clean in iOS 7. What's up? What's up? Good morning. Set alarm at 5 p.m. Okay, I turned it on. There we go, you can see that they kind of both work the same way over here, uh, but a little bit different in terms of its UI, but on both here, of course, I can quickly enable and disable things. But definitely that cool transparent background over here is definitely 
a nice little addition here. And also, of course, the control center. If you also can check out some other things, I might also do separate videos for browser and speed test and all those things. But uh, if we would check out the multitasking, which is also kind of revamped a lot. Uh, when you double tap, you want to do some multitasking here. Really, really uh, upgraded here in iOS 7 here on my left side uh, with this cool kind of swiping. And in the new beta, uh, it should be a little bit more improved here in terms of speed. I still do miss a feature uh, where it would be cool to be able to close everything uh, with just one tap, just as you can get in Samsung's flagship device at the moment, the Galaxy S4. Uh, but I do like it that you get bigger thumbnails, uh, or you can see actually what's going on inside of apps. Uh, in iOS 6, you just did have these small icons, you have to hold in here, and you to click on that little little thing there. And uh, I definitely do believe that this is a, a nice, nice little addition here, nice update that you can quickly see what you have up and running. Plus, you can also see the icon down there at the bottom. So, definitely cool there. Uh, also, in terms of, uh, you can see, of course, uh, opening up, let's see here. Um, you kind of get different there. Uh, you can see that they really have changed the UI fully inside of here, especially like when you just go into settings. Uh, you can really, really see uh, a different kind of feel uh, to these. And um, I definitely do believe that I do enjoy iOS 7 a little bit more than uh, iOS 6 after I've been using it for a while. It feels like more of a fresh uh, update. And I do enjoy that Apple is uh, trying out something new. It's, it's definitely nice there. Uh, you also do have some, when we go down like this, as you can see here, you do have two tabs here, one for all, and this is the place uh, where you will see all your notifications, all your calls, and if you do miss something, it should, it should probably be uh, on this page right here. Also, in the new beta, uh, what we do have is iCloud support, and also find my iPhone. So, uh, if you would go down to iCloud, uh, you do have the feature down there of find my iPhone, uh, which is now back. Uh, also, back from the dead or something. Um, let's see here. Do you get that same feature here inside uh, of, let's see here. I'm not quite sure. I need to sign into my iCloud here uh, to see if it's web on the iPod Touch. But, um, but if the iPod Touch is not an iPhone, so find my iPhone. I'm not quite sure if that, that is available. Uh, you also should have some updates in uh, apps like Newsstand. Uh, reminders, uh, let's see, do we have reminders on the iPod Touch? It could be, there we go, yeah, we do have reminders. So let's take a quick little look here also uh, in terms of the UI uh, changes uh, in the reminders app. So a little bit changed here. You can do a quick reminder, there we go, done. And you do them like this. And you can tap on them. Uh, you can't change color though. It's a little bit more colorful here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, inside of the new reminders, uh, you have this kind of cool UI also. And if you want to open up something, I'm sure you just tap on it. And if you want to go back, you drag it down like that. Uh, when we also make a new reminder here, we have a bunch of different colors uh, that we can uh, that we can uh, that we can use. Uh, show more, let's see, maybe we have some colors. No, I don't think we have colors here, but it's kind of cool that you can have different colors like green, blue. Uh, when you are doing something new, let's say you like the color green, and maybe you have different colors for different important things, uh, then of course that definitely is quite, quite, quite useful. Uh, we can also open up, also in terms of speed, of course. Uh, this is one feature also that you might be interested in or if you come from iOS 6 uh, to iOS 7, one of the updates is that you won't longer have spotlight when you go to the left here, uh, but they have hidden it away a little bit. You just have to do one swipe like that, one swipe up here on or down on any of the pages and you will get off uh, that that feature that works the same uh, will search for the same. You can definitely see here the transparency. This is a little bit more cool here, probably uh, in the new iOS uh, seven. Uh, you have the cool transparent bar uh, also there at the top. Also, some apps like FaceTime should also be a little bit cool with the blur effect. 
uh, and also uh, you also now should be able to uh, upload with PhotoStream like uh, screenshots I'm pretty sure and um, also some new stand updates a little bit different in terms of uh, uh, that that UI over there you can see there that this is like the old new stand I'm pretty sure and this is the new new stand which is uh, a little bit different of course uh, and then we do have some huge updates uh, in terms of the browser and I might be doing separate videos about that to uh, specifically going uh, going over the browser because there really is uh, uh, some awesome updates with the browser in terms of the, the kind of like the UI look and feel. Uh, so uh, when we fire up the browser here, you can see there on iOS 6 how it looks like uh, and a little bit more of a clean UI feel that you do get here uh, on the new iOS uh, 7, uh, which is one nice bar here at the top, which is um, has everything that you need to know or wanna have. Nice little reading mode there when you wanna go clean. And uh, it just looks a little bit more polished in the down here at the bottom. Uh, the multitasking uh, is also a little bit more cool here. We have the swiping instead of just uh, can't do anything here. You can only close it. Uh, it looks cool. Uh, it looks cool. It looks awesome. And uh, I might, as I said, go over separate videos about that. And also th things like gaming and etc. And etc. Uh, also pretty quick here, let's just uh, go uh, to the wallpaper section because people like wallpapers, people always want to say that thing. So when we are here, you can see uh, what we are getting. Let's see. There we go. So that's the stock wallpapers here, probably in iOS 6. Uh, you do have two dynamic wallpapers, which are like almost like wall, live wallpapers that's moving around here in iOS 7. Pretty funny that it's bubble, same as you would get in the S4. Uh, and then we do have the normal uh, still pictures here. You can see a lot of the same here on both devices, but you do have some new additions there at the top in iOS 7. So if there's anything specific you want to see, please let me know about that, uh, especially between these two phones, gaming or... Um, browser or foster video specifically uh, or just different apps test it out benchmark videos uh, and i will see what i can do have a good day and if you did enjoy this video please leave a like and i will see you all hopefully in the next video